Let's talk about fission reactors. There are 16 nuclear reactors in the UK, generating one sixth of our electricity by neutron fission. I hope you're wondering how they work. Uranium is usually used as the fuel in a nuclear reactor. A neutron is fired into a uranium-235 nucleus, creating a highly unstable uranium-236 isotope. This unstable atom splits. The products of this fission are usually krypton-93 and barium-140, open brackets, often referred to as fission fragments, close brackets, along with three neutrons, which then collide with more of the uranium fuel, thus creating a chain reaction. But with so many unstable isotopes present, and the number of neutrons increasing, in theory, exponentially, the chain reaction must be limited and control. To do this, control rods, typically made of boron, are inserted into the reactor. That's not boron, that's not boron, it's not boron. Boron is one of the best nutrient absorbers, but it is as a material brittle and weak. It is therefore common to add boron to a steel alloy. The point is that control rods are used to absorb neutrons and keep things from getting out of control. The moderators produce during fission are travelling too fast. To slow them down, a moderator is used in order to increase the likelihood of fission taking place. The moderator will have a light nucleus so that neutrons don't just bounce off with the same kinetic energy. There will also be a poor absorber so it doesn't just take the neutrons out. Oh, I'm so the reaction produces an enormous amount of heat due to the large quantities of energy involved in splitting the uranium atom. In the reactor, this heat is harnessed to boil water and the steam from this is used to turn a turbine which drives the electrical generator. Coolant is used to control the temperature of the reactor and to transfer thermal energy from the reactor to the steam turbine and generator. This coolant will be a liquid or gas with high heat capacity which doesn't absorb neutrons or become radioactive. Remember fission fragments? Good. How we get rid of these highly radioactive waste products causes major problems. Cesium and strontium, for example, are especially likely to get into the food chain. This allows heat from the decay process of short-lived isotopes to dissipate as well as isolating the waste from the outside environment. When transporting nuclear fuel to and from the reactor, it is placed in watertight casts that ensure it has no contact with the air. This means there will be no radiation leakage. Ultimately, the best method we have is to encase the waste in glass and bury it deep underground. Sometimes, I feel like nuclear waste.
but people who run nuclear power plants like it even more than me. Because they like safety. They surround the reactor with concrete and force with lead or steel or submerge the reactor in a deep pool of water. Both these methods protect the workers from harmful radiators like this one. Get that? Radiators. Radiation. Radiators. Alas, we come to our conclusion. Nuclear fission reactors provide a safe and sustainable source of power. Hello. It's me. <laughs> I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to be to go over everything. They say the time's supposed to heal you, but I ain't done much healing. Hello. <laughs> a neutron is fired into a uranium <laughs> Uranium is usually used as the fuel in a neutron fission reactor. A neutron, not neutron fission. Boron is one of the best neutron absorbers. I'm sorry. Good. How we get rid of these highly radioactive nuclear products? The moderator will have a light nucleus so that neutrons don't just bounce off with the same energy. <laughs> because they like safety. <laughs> and so we come to our conclusion. Fission reactors provide a sustainable source of nuclear power. Nuclear electrical power. Hang on, no. Alas, we come to our conclusion. Fission reactors, nuclear power, it's sustainable. Hello. Oh no!